guys, in this video, I'm going to be drawing and watercoloring a werewolf. And this is kind of just a generic uh, scary monster head. Uh, I couldn't really think of anything to draw today. And I really wanted to keep working on this technique. So I just said, hey, I'm going to just draw something scary and see what it turns into. So like my last two videos, uh, I'm using Strathmore Tone Tan Mixed Media Paper, um, which you can use watercolor, color pencils, anything you want pretty much on it. It's nice and thick, uh, holds up really well to the watercolors. And so right here you're seeing me lay down my base coat of watercolor, uh, just trying to get um, my value structure down. Uh, and I feel like I, I really wanted to keep this drawing big and simple because I really wanted to mess with the technique a little bit more than I did on the previous uh, paintings that I had done. I did Hellboy and I did uh, Poison Ivy and I really wanted to see what I could do with the, uh, with the watercolors and I also wanted to mess around with uh, going over these with some colored pencil and seeing how the paper would hold up. Uh, with the colored pencil over the top of the watercolors, which you'll see me do that towards the end of the video. Um, but right here, I'm after I get some base layers of values down, which I I kind of rush this, <laughs> which you hear me say that a lot in my videos. I, I rush to this stage where I could have definitely got some more value structure, like more blocked in value structure uh, down. But again, I just kind of wanted to do something quick uh, this drawing took me probably an hour and 20 minutes something like that so uh, but anyway right here I am using a little bit more pigment to add in some details to the drawing so uh, the other thing I'm kind of working on is just messing around with colors and things like that. For this painting, I used um, a violet and then a lizard crimson and then kind of a teal green color. And those are the only colors I used. Uh, I felt like it, it keeps it cohesive and stuff, but still adds a little bit of interest as far as the color scheme goes. Um, so yeah, and right here I'm getting a little bit darker with the, the violet. Uh, and this is kind of how I work where I'll just... I'll do layer after layer, slowly building up the color. So right here I'm using uh, the brush pen I use and I'm just kind of outlining stuff, adding a little bit uh, sharper detail to the teeth, around the eyes, and um, just around adding a little bit of texture lines and stuff like that. I didn't take this as far as I did on the previous two paintings I had done. Um, I liked the way the watercolor looked and I felt like the watercolors got me enough detail to where I didn't need to add too much of the pen and ink, uh, but I still feel like it was something that added some texture and added some interest to the face and stuff. So, um, but I liked how much I used it in this one. So right here I am adding highlights with my jelly roller pin, which is another thing I've been doing. Um, and I like the way it looked on this guy. This part of the video, I also slowed down several parts of the video so that you guys can actually see more in real time. So this is a, a much slower speed than most of the video. So 
So right here, I'm gonna slow down the video a little bit again and show you how I added the colored pencil, which the paper held out amazingly uh, under this colored pencil. I could press as hard as I want. I didn't tear the paper at all. Like I said, it's real nice and thick, but I really like the way this looked over the colored pencil. And I feel like this, this right here really opens me up to a lot of really cool stuff I can do. Because I actually work really well in colored pencil. Um, it's one of the things I'm strongest with, but I don't like to use it a whole lot because it takes so long. But if I can mix it with watercolor to really cover a lot of surface area with the watercolors and then use the colored pencil for um, detail work, I feel like I'll be able to create some pretty dang cool stuff. So I'm pretty excited about uh, where this technique is going and I can't wait to do another drawing. Well, that's the video. Uh, hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching.